I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here. And in today's video, I want to show you the first troubleshooting step that everyone should do if they notice something out of the ordinary happening with their smartphone. This will work with the base model that I have here, as well as the larger Galaxy S23 Plus and the premium Galaxy S23 Ultra variants. Testing an Android smartphone or tablet while it is in safe mode is a great first step when troubleshooting any type of issue that you may be noticing. Whether this is a problem with battery life, overheating, force crashes, or even just random stutters and glitches. These can all be caused by poorly coded third-party apps and games running wild in the background. So instead of blindly uninstalling everything or resorting to erasing the phone with a factory reset, we can actually test to see if a third-party app is causing the issue by booting the device into safe mode. So this is done by first bringing up the power menu and then performing a long press gesture on the power off option. After a few seconds, you should see the power menu disappear and it will be replaced with a safe mode button. Let's go ahead and tap it. So the Galaxy S23 will restart and then boot us into safe mode. We should just notice the phone turning off and then turning back on before booting us into safe mode. You'll immediately know that you're in Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra safe mode by the watermark that appears in the bottom corner of the screen. This will always be present while you're in this special boot mode as a reminder that you will not be able to use any of your third-party apps or games. You are likely also going to notice a persistent notification as well, and that again reminds you that you are in safe mode, but while also offering you a quick way to reboot out of it and back into the normal Android operating system. You'll even notice that all of your third-party apps and game icons are going to be grayed out. And trying to open them is going to reveal a toast message telling you that this downloaded app is disabled while you are in safe mode. This is because while you're booted into safe mode, Android is going to disable everything that was not pre-installed to the system partition. And this is why it's such a great way to troubleshoot any software related issue on the Galaxy S23. Instead of having to disable or uninstall them all individually, and then having to change them back and reinstall them after testing. We simply have to boot the phone into this special boot mode to see if the issue continues to persist. So if you have been noticing any troubles with the battery life, the overheating of the phone, random app crashes, or performance stutters, then it is always recommended to boot the device into safe mode to see if those issues continue to happen. If they are no longer present while you are in safe mode, then the issue lies with one of the apps or games that you have installed onto the device. Your next step would then be to actually remove them one by one until you find the culprit causing the issue. But if they continue to happen while in safe mode, then you're looking at a bug or conflict that is embedded into the Android operating system itself. 
This could have happened from a first party app that has been updated with a bugged out version or could be within the Android file system itself after an over the air update has been installed. I've even seen these issues happen from a glitchy install at the factory and getting the smartphone back to a clean slate with a factory reset can help if the issue is caused by the Android operating system. But you could also try disabling suspicious first party apps one at a time to see if one of those is actually causing the issue. Either way, when you're done testing the Galaxy S23 in safe mode, we can exit the special boot mode by simply restarting the phone. You can do this by tapping on the notification that I showed you earlier, or we could just bring up the power menu again and tap the restart option. Just like before, the phone is going to turn off and then it's going to turn back on and boot us back into Android. And as long as you're not holding down any buttons during the boot back into Android, you should actually leave safe mode and be able to use your third party apps again. You can see none of these apps are grayed out anymore and we can open them like normal. I hope this has helped everyone who has run into any type of software related issue with their Samsung Galaxy S23 series smartphone. If you're still having trouble or simply have a question about Android in general, feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll respond as soon as I'm able to.